Hello everyone, welcome. My name is John Cottrell and we are at Mosaic Yoga. We are using the public coffee space here in Salt Lake City. This is a power hour class. So of course a 60 minute class. In this practice, I want you to embody the warrior within you. So that's our intention for this practice, for the 60 minute practice. Embody the warrior within you. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead and start in mountain pose. So that's just standing nice and tall near the top of your mat. You might stand with your feet about hip distance apart if that feels okay for you. You can always take the feet a little wide or even turn your toes outward a little bit if that feels a little bit better for you. And just stand, let's, let's all stand like this with our arms down by our sides with the palms facing forward. This just makes this mountain pose a little bit more active, yes. Just bring the body to life. And also with this rotation of the arms outward, it rolls the shoulders back in a very natural way, which starts to open your heart and improves your posture. So we'll begin here. You might close your eyes or just soften your eyes. And start with slow, deep cleansing breaths. And as you breathe deeply, it brings you to this moment because it takes your full attention to take a deep breath. It allows for all the other thoughts and feelings just to be pushed to the side, just temporarily, so that you can focus on the here and now. Slow, deep breaths. And as you breathe in, you might even feel your breath rising upward to fill your lungs. Feel that nice expansiveness up top. And as you exhale, just draw your navel inward towards your spine. You have a light engagement of your abdominal muscles, that light contraction feeling. So again, a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. And a slow and controlled exhale, engaging your center. This is the abdominal lock. And just keep breathing like that a few more times. Breathing, of course, is the foundation of our practice. And when we connect to our center, as we do here on the exhale, engaging this abdominal section, we create a good sense of stability and strength, and it's gonna help with, with balance. There is a couple of balancing poses in our practice today. Take three more breaths in and out. ready to move with breath on your own inhale extend your arms into the air a nice reach a good stretch quality there and exhale will fold forward so it's a good hinge from your hips and bend your knees as much as you need to so you can just make your way down safely carefully we'll inhale here slide your hands up to your knees or your thighs and extend your spine creating a long flat back and exhale let's just fold back down and just hold here for a moment and just feel perhaps a stretch quality in the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, even your low glutes. Notice your back, starting from your low back in that lumbar area, that nice release and stretch quality down through your spine, past the mid back, right up to upper back. Here you might even relax your head. Just shake it out, maybe nod yes and shake your head no, just to release the your neck area and finally just some movement in your shoulders you might create some circles with your shoulders roll them backward roll them forward again just loosening up let's do another spinal extension so an inhale slide your hands up to your knees or thighs fully extend your spine only rising up halfway exhale let's fold again back down towards toes then start shifting your weight back into your heels Bend your knees quite a bit like you're gonna sit down into a chair. Look forward, that should extend your spine, that's it. And sweep your arms out and up, reach into the air. Big stretch here at the top, good. Exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. We'll hold for a moment. Take a nice breath in and a complete breath out. Let's just go through that half salute one more time. Same flow, together. Inhale, reach into the air, another nice stretch. Exhale, leading with your heart, fold forward, bending your knees. That just protects your back as you fold, making your way down. 
Inhale, slide your hands up to your knees or thighs, long spine. Exhale, back down we go, forward fold. Roll back toward your heels, bend your knees. Let's inhale, reverse your swan dive, just return to standing, there you go. Reaching really high and exhale, hands together and down to your heart. Let's just hold here for a moment. Let's go back to that deep breathing, good cleansing breaths, deep connection with the breath. We're just gonna con continue to build upon our half or our sun salutation. Here we go, inhale, extend your arms into the sky. Exhale, fold forward, again, leading with your heart. Put a good softness in your knees, making your way down. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, a good bend of your knees enough so you can place your palms on your mat. So you can walk or step both of your feet back until we're here in plank pose, just a high push-up position, that's it. Hold for a moment and just feel the strength in your body. Press into the ground with your hands. Feel the energy in your arms. They're strong and straight. A little squeeze of your inner arms towards each other, squeezing towards center. Let's take a breath in. As you exhale, bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. This is our shortcut to downward facing dog. If you need to, just make any adjustments with your feet, even your hands, just to help settle into the pose. Let's hold here for several breaths. While we're here, we can do a few things. Let's start with the feet. We'll pedal the feet. So press one heel down, that's it, then the other. So you feel that stretch through the calf muscles, so the lower portion of the legs. And you might even feel a stretch in your toes as you lift the heels high away from the ground. Let your knees bend. Even allow your hips to shift side to side. So imagine like you're walking or maybe pedaling a bicycle. You can continue doing that or you can pause. Let's pay attention to the upper body. While hands are still pressing firmly into the ground, strong straight arms, go ahead and just sink your chest and feel as if you're gonna send your heart towards your toes or towards the floor. This will open the chest a little bit more. You might even feel a little bit in your shoulders. Take two more breaths. And then look at the space between your hands and take a walk, both feet up to the top of the mat. Once you're here in this deep forward fold, inhale, slide your hands back up to the knees or thighs, extending spine. We'll exhale to fold, lean back into your heels, bend your knees a little, inhale, reverse your swan dive, let's return to standing. Get even taller if you're able, reach high, exhale, hands to heart. And we're just gonna keep this in motion, continuing the sequence. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, this exhale, let's take chair pose, Utkatasana. So imagine perfect, like you're sitting back and down into a chair. We'll breathe in right here. We'll exhale, let's dive forward, back down towards toes. This can be a partial fold. For me, a partial fold might be hands on shins. Inhale, slide your hands up to knees or thighs, extending. This exhale, bend your knees enough, placing your palms back down onto your mat. Walk or step back, or even a light hop back into plank pose. Be, uh, big breath in. This exhale, you can finish your push-up, bend your elbows, come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Now you can always go to that shortcut and go right into down dog. Or go through this full vinyasa, inhale up dog or cobra, and exhale downward facing dog. Take a moment to make another readjustment of your hands and feet, settle in and arrive in your downward facing dog. Then we'll continue, we'll inhale, extend your right leg up behind you, reach back nice and long. Exhale, let's bring right foot up to the top of the mat. Left heel turns to the floor behind you and shifting weight back into that back foot so you have balance on two feet. We're gonna inhale, extend the arms out, maybe up to the side or forward and rise at warrior one. We're gonna keep it moving, exhale, fold again. Just bring your hands back down to the mat in front. We'll step back into plank pose, finish your sequence. Again, that could be the shortcut to down dog or come down finishing the push up. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Another moment to arrive. Then inhale, extend left leg up, reaching back and away. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, next to left set of fingers there. Right heel to, turns to the floor, shifting weight back into that foot. Hands are light so you can easily rise up. Inhale, reach for the ceiling, nice lunge in front. And our exhale, folding again, bringing hands back down to the mat. Stepping back into plank pose. 
finishing your sequence. Come on down. Inhale, up dog, or just find a nice mild back bend and exhale, downward facing. Hold for a moment. Okay, right away, we're gonna go to the ground. You can just bring your knees to the floor and take a seat or hop forward, cross your legs, and then take a seat in the center of your mat. We're gonna lie down, so go ahead and roll down onto your back. We're gonna get ready for bridge. So you'll lie down with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Take a few seconds here just to settle into the ground, disengage the body, just come to full relaxation for a moment. Maybe a breath or two. Feel your body just melt into the ground. Do that several times and then we'll start to re-engage the body as we prepare for our back bend. All right, breathing deeply, just breathe in fully to fill up your lungs. Exhale completely. You can even blow the air out of your mouth. Feel the air leave your belly. Engage your belly. Strong ab muscles. And then lift your hips up into the air. They can stay low if you'd like, or maybe you're lifting a little higher. For more support, you can use your hands to help lift yourself up or even slide a couple of blocks underneath you to sit on or just any other, like a big pillow or something. And then use your arms. Maybe bend your elbows at 90 degrees and press the backs of your arms down into the ground just to help lift your hips a little higher and even open up the chest a little bit. I'm adjusting my feet for a little bit more spaciousness in my back and hips. I'm also rocking my upper body left and right a little bit so I get my shoulders a bit more underneath me, really planted well into the ground. Squeezing shoulder blades together here too. That engages the upper back which helps support this posture. And if you just kind of tap into all the sensations here, there's a lot going on. Feet are active, legs, thighs, hamstrings, hips and glutes. Your core is engaged, upper back, chest is expanding. One more breath in and out. And we'll start to come out. Let's start by wiggling the toes forward a little bit or step forward. Extend your arms straight up into the air. That should get the shoulders out from underneath you and then come down to the ground. Let's extend the body. Extend the legs forward and the arms behind you and just reach in these opposite directions just to re-lengthen after being in that back bend. After you feel well stretched out, let's bring the knees to chest. Catch your knees in your hands. Start to carefully rock forward and back. And with an exhale, maybe you're rocking your way up, we'll come to boat pose. So it's just a seated posture. Let's energize the feet. You can flex the feet or even point your toes. You're just gonna lean back a little bit so you had a good angle, so you can actually lift the feet into the air. You can certainly do this with heels on the ground. Either one's fine. If your feet are lifted, I like to hold on to the legs underneath here and literally lift to help extend the upper body. It's like you're lifting your chest up and slightly forward. So you have a nice straight spine. Even tip your chin up a little bit so your gaze is kind of upward rather than directly forward at your toes. So a slight lift of the chin. That just keeps the neck nice and long in the same alignment as the spine. We're breathing deeply. We're inhaling to fill up the lungs. You can exhale through the mouth if you'd like engaging your abdominal muscles once again. We're gonna move on the next breath. So we'll inhale, exhale, you can cross legs, maybe roll forward onto your hands, catch yourself there and step back or even hop back into plank or just lean to the side. And yeah, just swing the feet back, step back into plank. Hold here for a moment. Let's just take that shortcut to down dog. Just bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air and we are there. Making a little adjustment, settling in. Let's continue our flow, adding on. Go ahead and inhale to extend your right leg up and exhale right foot now up to the top of the mat. Left heel turns to the floor, shifting weight back for that balance. Inhale, rise to warrior one. So we're reaching straight up into the air and we'll exhale and open to warrior two. Yeah, so your torso kind of turns sideways. You can even take a little wider stance by taking the feet a little bit farther outward towards the edges of your mat. Nice deeper lunge and a good extension of your arms. You've got it, beautiful. So this is one of our warriors. Remember I said embody the warrior within you. So this is warrior two. Hold. And maybe your focus is out over your right arm, right hand. 
Let's take this to side angle pose. So start following your right hand forward to angle the upper half of the body, perfect. Rotate your arms, yes, your right arm can brace on the inner right thigh, or your left arm opens, and your left hand reaches into the sky. Good expansion of the body, so it's not only a hip opener, but it opens your chest, your heart. Very nice, let's take a breath in. We'll exhale to turn so we can bring both hands back down to the mat and just step back into down dog. Just step back, feet on the floor, hips in the air. Just another quick shortcut. Same thing, other side. Inhale, extend your left leg straight up and back. Exhale to move, bringing left foot now up to the top of the mat. Take your time with these transitions. No hurry at all. So you can shift the weight back, find that balance, rise when you're ready. Inhale, this is our first warrior and our exhale to second warrior. We're gonna pause in our second warrior here, making some adjustments as it feels good. I like to go a little wider, so if I can get more into my hips and inner thighs. I like to check in with my arms. I look into the front arm and the back arm, just to be sure that they're straight and parallel to the ground. Good. Let's hold and just gaze forward out past the left set of fingers. Imagine like that's your destination. Like you're, that's the direction you're moving. All right, let's follow that left hand forward to angle the upper half of the body. We'll rotate the arm so your left arm will come down. Right arm will reach up and just feel how you open up a bit more. You might even gaze upward past your right hand, only if that feels okay on your neck. If that's a little bit of a strain, just look directly forward to neutralize the neck or even look down at the ground. Hold and feel. Breathe in, here we go. Exhale, let's turn the body so we can bring the hands back down to the mat. I'll get another shortcut, just step right back into down dog, both feet in the, on the ground, hips in the air. Full breath in, as you exhale, walk, step, or even hop, both feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise up halfway, what we'll call it monkey pose. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bend your knees, look forward, inhale, reverse your swan dive. Coming all the way up, reach high. Now on this exhale, let's bring the arms down by your side. Let's return to that first mountain pose we did earlier. So arms down, palms forward. And hold here. A couple breaths. So a nice warm up going through all those sun salutes. We did a back bend and stepped into our warrior postures. Let's get into some balance now. All right, let's start shifting weight over into the right foot. I'm just gonna mirror you. Rooting the right foot down into the ground so it's nice and strong. You wanna get tall and lengthen through the spine. An inhale will help with that. And your exhale to connect to your center. Let's float the left foot up, bending the knee with the flexed foot perhaps, you've got it. Let's swing the knee outward, even at an angle's fine. It doesn't necessarily have to point directly to the side of the room. Placing the foot on the inside of your standing leg. I always go to my calf. You can go there, you can even go lower where your toes touch the ground, or even higher where your foot is on the inner thigh. It's all correct. I'm gonna go back to my calf. Then inhale, reach into the air. And once your arms are up, yes, lift. Like you're gonna to touch the ceiling, touch a cloud, touch the sky. Find something out in front of you to focus on. It might be a picture on the wall in front of you, or even look down a little bit. Look at the ground, find something on the ground that your eyes can focus on. Good balance here. No worries if you lose your balance. That's all part of the practice. Keep the arms extended. We'll swing the left knee forward. Lift your knee with the flexed foot. Let's plant the foot back down into the ground to rebalance and sweep the arms back down by your side. Let's just spin the palms forward just to finish actively. And then if you like, you can just shake all that out. Even your feet, the foot you were just standing on, you might want to stretch your toes, your ankles, maybe your shoulders. Yeah, just lo loosen up a little bit. And we'll come back, meeting together, back in our mountain pose actively. Good, let's start shifting weight over into the left foot. Root down, that's it. Nice and tall, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, draw belly in, nice engagement. We'll float the right foot up only when you're ready. 
you need to set it back down and recenter, that's fine. Then lift it again. We'll swing the knee out to the side. Plug the foot into the standing leg or just place it lightly on the inside of the standing leg. Again, I'm just going to default at my calf. Inhale, sweep the arms into the air. Reach, and once you are extended with the arms, lift. You want the torso as long as possible, spine length, and lots of spaciousness created in the entire body. Finding something focus to focus on out in front of you or down below that helps with your balance, helps you to concentrate and to be here. Excellent. All right, let's keep the arms as they are. Let's swing the left knee forward. I'm sorry, right knee forward. Lifting your knee with the flexed foot. We'll plant the foot back down into the ground. Once again, just sweep the arms back down by your side. We'll end actively with palms facing forward. And once again, just go ahead and shake all that out. Just loosen it up. Even your head and neck if you need to. Could we build, we, since we engage so much in our postures, it's okay just to take a moment just to uh, let that go. I like to think of it as a, you're completing that whole sequence. We did some work, then you can rest. All right, back to mountain pose. We're in a flow now. Here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms into the air. Exhale, let's take chair pose. Once you're in the seat, breathe in again. Then exhale, we'll dive out of the seat, down towards toes. Inhale, monkey, that's our long flat back as you rise up halfway. And your exhale, bent knees, hands to the mat, walk or step or a light hop back into plank pose and come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and inhale, extend your right leg up into the air. Hold for a moment, really reach and extend. Feel the hands press a little bit more firmly into the ground. We're gonna bend the right knee that's in the air. So your heel comes down towards your backside and then lift your right knee up into the air, which creates a spinal twist, but it opens the hips. So you'll feel that your right hip is higher than the left. Breathe in. Exhale to unwind it so you can step your right foot up to the top of the mat. Back to warrior one. We're gonna hold warrior one. But let's get that nice solid stance first, then rise, reach up into the air. Let's hold our warrior one. So just like in tree pose, really extend, reach high, and then maybe lunge a little lower. That right knee and your toes are pointing forward. You're mostly facing forward. We're gonna add something here. As you're able, interlace your fingers here at the top with your index fingers pointing towards the ceiling and just keep reaching. If you can extend the arms, your arms might even come in squeezing towards your ears. If they don't, that's okay. It's okay if the elbows stay bent. And then tip your gaze upward past those fingertips. Okay, so this is warrior one. Just another variation of the posture. Breathe in. We'll exhale, open to warrior two. You might even follow your right hand forward. So we changed our gaze from upward to forward. Let's reverse the warrior here. Right hand reaching into the air. So once again, looking up. In power yoga, there's a lot of looking up. It's very, it's very optimistic. Power yoga has a lot of optimism. We're looking up. Then a big windmill, let's break the hands down to the ground in front. We'll step back into plank pose, finishing the sequence as you like. You can always throw in that shortcut right there. You can skip this part if you'd like, or just modify it. Downward facing dog together. Whenever you're ready, we'll inhale, extend left leg into the air. Exhale and just hold for a second as you get more extension through the arms and that lifted leg. Then we'll bend the left knee, bring your heel down towards your backside, lifting the knee up, into the air will create the slight rotation in the spine and the hip opener. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind it. Let's step left foot now up to the top of the mat. Right heel turns to the floor. Shifting the weight back, find that balance and we'll rise up, reach up into warrior one. Settle into the pose. Keep reaching, keep lunging. Feel what's happening in the lower half of the body because this opens the hips, especially in that right leg, that right hip flexor. Now go ahead and interlace your fingers, index fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Extend the arms only if you're able, reaching up towards the ceiling and then tip, yes, tip your gaze upward past the fingertips. Back to that uplifting sensation. 
optimistic, optimistic sensation. Looking up. Breathe in. Let's exhale, open the warrior two, perhaps follow the left hand forward. Gazing forward. Let's reverse the warrior here. Left hand reaching up into the air. So once again, looking up at optimism. Then our windmill, bring the hands down to the floor in front. We'll step back into our plank pose and finish the sequence as you like. Up dog and downward facing dog. Let's go back to the ground, take a seat. You can just kneel down and take a seat or hop forward to take your seat. So right back down onto our backs, just to return to our bridge pose. Now here you can do bridge exactly as we did it before, or feel free actually to move into a full back bend if you'd like. When you're ready, fill up your lungs with an inhale. Exhale, empty your belly, engage, and then lift hips up into the air. Remember you can bend your elbows using the backs of your arms to help press into the ground, lifting heart up a bit more. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Again, I'm getting my shoulders a bit more underneath. Deep breaths. Feel all that's happening in the body. Very strong. Good heart opener. Two more breaths. After the second breath, just wiggle the toes forward or step forward a little bit. Extend your arms straight up into the air. Then go ahead and roll your way back down to the ground. And extend the body. Extend the arms behind you, legs out front. And when you're ready, let's bring the knees into chest. And the exhale, rocking your way up, maybe right into boat. If you're able, or if you need to, bring feet to the ground so you can help settle and set yourself up, that's fine too. Holding onto the legs to get more extension in the spine. Don't forget to tip your chin upward a little bit. Nice long neck. Breathing in deeply. Exhale completely. If you'd like, even releasing the legs if you are holding on, just an option. And let's flow, breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. So you can swing the feet back or step or hop back into plank pose. Same shortcut to down dog, just bend your knees, hips into the air. All right, inhale, extend right leg straight up and back. Right foot to the top of the mat with the exhale. And we go to high lunge this, this time. So that means the left heel behind us will stay lifted. We do wanna shift the weight back towards that lifted left heel. Find that balance so we can easily rise. Reach up and lunge low. So again, we want that back heel lifted. Now everything is facing forward, all 10 toes, both knees, hips, your heart. Let's do what we did, what we did in Warrior One. We interlace the fingers, reach up. Now before we look up, because that's gonna change the sensation of this posture, we're not fully stable because that left heel is not on the ground. So this is gonna act like a balance. So let's make sure that we're squeezing inner thighs towards each other. Imagine you're holding onto a block between the knees or thighs. You wanna squeeze and hold on. Then pull belly in much tighter to help stabilize the lower half of the body. Then slowly tip your gaze upward. This is gonna change your focus. It might change your balance. Don't worry if you fall out of the pose. Breathe in. Let's exhale and open this to a warrior two. Let's set this up for triangle. You're gonna straighten the right leg, there you go. Reach out over that right thigh, rotate your arms. Now I didn't go down very low and I typically don't. So when my hand comes down, it just it's by my knee or upper thigh. You might be lower by your calf or ankle. I tend to be a little higher up in this pose, but I still feel this. This is as long as you feel this, both in the hips, around here, and in that hamstring. 
and maybe looking up once again that optimistic feeling in the body and your mind. To come out of the posture, let's start by bending the right knees for some le leverage. As we come up, pass through warrior two, look at your right hand and look up or reach into the air to reverse the warrior. We're in a windmill right away out of the pose. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step right back into down dog, both feet on the ground, hips in the air. Same sequence, other side. Inhale, extend left leg straight up. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. High lunge, right heel stays lifted. Be sure to shift your weight back towards that lifted right heel so you have less weight in the hands so you can easily float your way up. Arms in the air, take your time if you need to. Once you're here, reach up and lunge low. So you might put a little bend in that back knee. Okay. Go ahead and interlace the fingers. Don't look up just yet. Let's stabilize the lower half of the body. We need to build that strong foundation. Here's one little extra thing. That right heel, I call this the anchor. You wanna feel like your heel is pushing back, like it's trying to press directly down into the ground. Then squeeze inner thighs towards each other, like you're holding onto that block. Pull belly in. Okay, so more stability has been established. So slowly start tipping your gaze upward towards the fingertips, past the fingertips. Breathe in. We're going to exhale and open this to a warrior two. So that heel drops behind you. Arms come down to parallel. A setup for triangle. So we're straightening the left leg. Reach out over that left thigh. Angled upper body. Once again, then rotate your arms. Left hand, it's anywhere along the leg. Again, mine is up by my knee. Yours might be lower. You might even turn your gaze upward. Make sure there's deep breaths. To come out of the pose, let's we'll start by bending the left knee. Nice lunge for leverage. Come back up to warrior two and then reverse it. So left arm up into the air, reach. Might even reach slightly behind you. Then a windmill, bring the hands down to the ground in front. Step right back to down dog, feet on the floor, hips in the air. It just realigns the body nicely. Breathe in. The exhale, walk, step, or hop. Both feet return to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse your swan dive, coming all the way up. Now just follow me. We're reaching up into the air. This exhale, just bring your arms down slowly by your side. As they get down lower, start reaching behind you like this. Start reaching back. Hands active, reach for the back corners of your mat. So when you do this, it brings the shoulders back, opens the heart, your gaze is forward. So you can stay just like this, but if you're able, interlace your fingers. You don't have to, you can give it a try. Even if they don't fully clasp here like this, maybe you're just holding on to a fingertip or something like that. If you need to keep the elbows bent, keep elbows bent, otherwise, Feel your knuckles push down towards the ground to straighten the arms, wherever they are. If you're able, roll your shoulders back a bit more. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze, so more of that act active upper body. This is what we kind of do when we're in bridge pose, that back bend, squeezing the shoulder blades together. All right, so with our gaze forward, we're just gonna bend the knees a little, let them jet forward just a little bit, not too much. And then hinge forward like so until we're in, in, in a, a chair-like position. So the fingers are still folded behind us or maybe you're reaching behind you. It's all perfect. It's all correct. And just hold for a moment here. We're going to stand up and release the fingers. Reach up into the air. We're going to flow. Reach up high. Maybe look up. Exhale, swan dive. Take your time. Inhale, monkey, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Walk or step back or hop back into plank. Come down if you like, chaturanga. Or some variation of your flow. Up dog, yes, go at your own pace. Exhale, downward facing. All right, I want you to take a little rest here. Maybe bring your knees to the floor. 
sit back into hero pose, maybe pause here. If you're, if you're comfortable in this position, just stay here. If this is not comfortable, just take a regular seat. Okay, let me just demonstrate. You can just watch me while I show you what we're gonna do next. Now, <clears throat> you can have blocks for this pose. That just brings the floor a little bit closer to you in this particular posture, because we're gonna be balancing again. <clears throat> But we're gonna to try to do this without using the ground. But if you need to, if you lose your balance or something, you've got blocks. So let me just show you, because we're gonna to return to, let me just hop into high lunge. Let me just kind of break down what we did a little bit earlier. So we took the arms up and we interlaced the fingers. Little squeeze index fingers are pointing towards the ceiling. So we wanna create this good anchoring. So that left heel, I just kind of push back and it just kind of grounds me. Squeezing legs uh, inside, squeezing so they're strong and alive. Belly whoosh, pulls in. Then I can take my gaze upward, just to help stabilize the lower half. You might wobble a little bit, but that's normal. Now, here's the transition. We've done warrior one, we've done warrior two. We're gonna move into warrior three. From this position, I'm gonna inhale. As I exhale, I'm just gonna follow my hands forward. I'm, take, I'm taking my gaze. I'm just looking at my fingertips and shooting the hands forward and flying forward until I'm balancing on my right foot. That's the posture you want to take. Then you might take your gaze downward. I'm already losing my balance. Right there. Good extension. Now, if you do lose your balance you may, or you go too far, you just bring your hands to the floor or your stack of blocks. No worries. Then we're going to take it in reverse. So this knee, this right knee, is, is already bent. We're going to bend it more so we can bring those toes down to the floor so the floor isn't too far away. Bring the toes back down. Let's say I'm still like this. And I'm just going to return right into that high lunge. And we'll open it to a warrior two. Okay? So we're going to fly into warrior three and take it backwards. All right? So that's where we are. <clears throat> so if you're seated, let's just come to this seated posture and go right back into boat. <clears throat> and just remembering our core strength and stability in our breath. And we'll go through that flying sequence. Breathing in, here we go. Exhale, it's cross legs, hands in front or to the side. Step back or hop back plank. Just take a shortcut to down dog. So let's try that out. Inhale, extend right leg up behind you, reach. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Going for our high lunge, be sure to shift the weight back to center. Rise up, inhale. Reach into the air, there you go. Reach high, lunge low. All right, then we interlace fingers. Index fingers pointing up. Activate that left heel, push back. Squeeze inner thighs in. Activate your belly. Now we'll tip gaze upward. We're gonna take this to our warrior three. Do your best. Breathe in. Exhale, just lower the hands first and follow your hands with your eyes. Push forward ah, to rise up and balance on that right foot. Then you can take your gaze downward, which might even help your balance and also your focus. It won't strain your neck. Wow, a lot of work in that leg, standing leg. Let's not stay here too long. Bend the right knee a little bit. So we can set the toes back down behind you. Rise back up to the high lunge. Then open to warrior two. Let's add another warrior here. Stay here. Inhale, just reach out more through your hands. Then the exhale, bring the hands down behind you. Now you can just reach back or interlace your fingers behind you, either one. Roll the shoulders back. Now we're facing each other right here. But I'm gonna turn Turn your heart a little bit towards your right knee. Inhale, tip your chin up and even look up. Exhale, send your heart forward and hinge at the hips and start to come down until your torso is about parallel to the ground. Stay here. And you can inhale and get a little bit longer. On the exhale, either stay here or go down lower, whatever you like. This is humble warrior. So a bowing position now the hands, your arms, it can just rest at your back. If you're able, however, lift your hands up into the air. You can just reach with free hands or interlaced hands. Stay folded, but release the fingers so you can bring your hands or palms to the ground. 
Rise up on your tiptoes behind you. So we're in this runner's lunge. Put pressure into the hands because you're going to slide the right foot back into plank. So plank pose and then just a shortcut to down dog. All right, so let's do that same sequence on the other side. So inhale, extend left leg straight up and back. We're going to our high lunge here. So exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel stays lifted, shifting the weight back. Find the balance. Only rise when you're ready. Reaching up into the air. Reach and lunge. Fold fingers. Point up. Activate your anchor. Right heel pushes back. Activate the inner thighs, squeeze in. <sighs> Navel to spine. <sighs> then tip your gaze upward. Inhale, we're gonna fly. Warrior three, exhale, send the arms down. Follow the fingers forward. Launch yourself forward, a little push from behind. That's it. Flexing maybe that right foot that's in the air behind you. Lift to activate your glutes, your hamstring, and your calf muscle. This left knee can stay very bent. It just keeps you in your thigh muscles. Let's go back down. Bend the left knee a little bit more so you can set your right set of toes onto the ground behind you. Return to that high lunge, maybe looking up if you're able. And we'll open it to warrior two. This really grounds us nicely. All right, humble warrior. Reach out with the arms. This exhale, bring the arms down behind you. Remember, you can keep the arms just reaching or hands free like this or interlace fingers reaching towards the floor that feels okay on your elbows and shoulders. If you can, roll the shoulders back a bit. Turning your torso a bit towards this left knee, you're kind of facing the right corner of the room here. Breathe in, tip your chin up. Exhale, send your heart forward, hinging forward until we're about parallel to the ground. Pause there. Inhale, more extension. Exhale, stay there or dive a little deeper. Remember your arms and hands can just rest on your back or maybe lift up into the air, just depending on the flexibility in your own shoulders. Stay in this lunge, stay low, but bring the hands down, release the fingers, bring your palms to the ground, rise up onto your tiptoes behind you Press firmly into the floor with your hands so you can slide the left foot back, return to plank just to realign the body. Bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air, downward facing dog. Hold for a breath or two. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, step or hop. Both feet returning to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen spine, monkey. Exhale, fold. Soft knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive, come all the way up nice and tall, reach high. This exhale will bring hands to heart. Well done. Let's just hold here for a moment. Let's get set up for a full flow here, incorporating all the warriors. So again, embodying all the warriors, feeling and experience the warrior within you. Two more breaths. Do your best, pause, rest whenever you need to. Go at your own pace. Here we go, inhale, sweep the arms into the air. Exhale, take chair pose. Once you're in the seat, breathe in again. Exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards your toes, forward fold. Good, inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, bend, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose, come down if you'd like, chaturanga. Again, go at your own pace. Choose your variation of this flow. Meet up together in downward facing dog. Make some adjustments, still moving. Inhale, extend right leg up. We're gonna bend the knee. Open up through the hip by lifting the knee into the air. On the exhale, unwind, step through, warrior one. So once you've landed up top, turn left heel to the floor behind you. We're gonna rise up to a regular warrior one, just reaching up into the air. Exhale, open it to warrior two. First warrior into second warrior. <clears throat> Good, side angle, right arm reaches forward, tip it over, right arm reaches down, left arm reaches up. You might look up, inhale. 
Exhale, here we go. You're gonna turn, bring your hands to the floor. We're returning right away to down dog, but this time sweep the right foot back and up into the air. Down dog, leg in the air, right leg. On the exhale, return right foot to the top of the mat now for high lunge. Remember to find the balance of that lifted left heel. Inhale, rise, take your time. Here is where we'll lift, lunge, interlace fingers, activate your foundation, that back heel, inner thighs, and belly. Once you've got all that, focus up. Inhale, exhale, fly, warrior three. Two more breaths. I'm gonna take this into reverse. Bend the right knee to come down a bit. Set the toes, left set of toes on the floor behind you. Return to your high lunge if you can, look up. Open here, warrior two. Reach out with the arms. Bring arms down behind you, interlace fingers. Knuckles reach for the ground, roll shoulders back. Turn your heart towards the right knee. Inhale, tip chin up, open your heart. That's it. Exhale, fold slowly. You can pause it parallel and stay there, or just continue going right on down. Maybe the hands behind you lift up into the air. Humble warrior. Stay in the humble warrior position, but bring the arms down, release the fingers, plant the hands onto the ground. Lift the back heel so you're in a runner's lunge. Push hands into the floor strongly so you can slide right foot back, plank, shortcut, down dog, bend knees, hips into the sky. Right away, other side. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. Bend and twist. As you exhale, you'll unwind. Stepping left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one, right heel turns to the floor. Find that good balance, then rise. Take your time if you need to. A regular warrior one that flows right into our warrior two. Settle in, feel it, maybe your gaze forward. Side angle, left arm down, right arm up. Maybe look up, the optimistic warrior. Inhale, exhale, turn, hands back down to your mat. Down dog, slide the left foot back and up into the air, straight lines, high lunge. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel stays lifted, shifting weight back slightly so you can ha your hands will float immediately off the ground. Once you're here, extend and lunge. Interlace fingers. Activate your balance, your stabi stability. Right heel pushes back, inner thigh squeeze, belly draws in. Now look up. Optimistic warrior again. Breathe in. Exhale, fly forward warrior three. Two more breaths. Really reach. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Coming down, bend the left knee so you can set your right set of toes on the ground again. Take it in reverse, rising up. Look up if you can. Warrior two. Humble warrior. Reach out, good extension through your arms. Exhale, arms down behind you, interlace fingers if you're able. Turning torso towards this left knee. Inhale, gaze up, exhale, fold. Pausing at parallel or just keep it going down. Stay here, let's just bring the hands down, right down to the ground, plant the palms, rise up onto tiptoes behind you. Press palms firmly into the ground, so slide left foot back, plank. Hips to sky, down dog. Hold here. Let's take child's pose. Let's bring the knees to the ground. You can even take the knees a little wider. And then sit back and down. Maybe your hips come down towards the heels. If that's a little bit too much for your feet, your ankles, or your knees, you can always keep hips high like this. And maybe your arms or elbows come to the ground. This is just called puppy pose. So something like that, maybe forehead to the ground. So whatever feels right for your joints, basically. 
but just a nice resting position. And with the arms extended, we get this nice reaching feeling, but you can always, at any time, bring the arms behind you, down by your side, and just reach back with your hands to your feet. That way your shoulders and your neck can relax. You can just kind of, oof, just melt right here. And just return to your breath. It was a very active, very engaging warrior sequence. So I just want to come to something soft. And this is a nice indicator. We're just really t communicating to our bodies and our minds that we're coming towards the end of the practice. Three more breaths. Move slowly here. Certainly no rush. Let's continue sending that signal of ease to the body and mind. So if your arms are reaching behind you like mine are, you can bring the hands out front, just onto the mat so you can help press yourself up. Maybe to hero and then slide off to the side just to sit on your mat and swing the legs around to the front. So we're gonna go back to that lying down position so we'll find the center of your mat and just take your time and roll down. Once we're down, just go ahead and bring knees to chest. So we're still in this calming and easing sensation of the body. So here you might just continue to care for yourself. Rocking forward and back, left and right. I like to make circles. I just take my knees and circle the knees. And as we're here, maybe even just think about this warrior sequence and what a warrior is to you. At any point, you can change this posture to a hip opener, maybe happy baby pose or reclining cobbler's pose. Just choose a posture that feels nice still thinking about the warrior. What immediately comes to mind for me is that, you know, it's something, you know, someone who's really strong and active and can fight. I think that's certainly one part of a warrior. Maybe someone who can withstand, you know, obstacles and things like that. But I think a warrior also has to be a bit vulnerable. They kind of have to open themselves up to anything. I think there's even a softness and a gentle side of the warrior who can bow down in humility. One that doesn't always have to be correct. One that doesn't always have to be right. But knowing when they've made mistakes and accept responsibility for those mistakes. Whenever you're ready, just go ahead and hug knees back into your body, towards your chest. Let's take a twist. We'll take the knees first down to the left side as you extend your right arm to the right side. Perhaps again, just thinking about if you carry some of those traits of the warrior. Think about moments when you have been strong, when you've been confident, when you had to be a little bit more vulnerable or even admit to a mistake. your time, move slowly, return to center, and then take the knees down to the other side. Take, take a moment and just notice your breath. Maybe it's softened. It's easy now, especially after that very dynamic flow. Let's 
to carefully return. Let's just pause here. Now you have an option here. If, you have, if there's any other pose you'd like to add here, maybe another back bend or an inverted posture, go ahead and insert those postures as you'd like right here. Or if you feel complete, just go ahead and extend the legs out in front of you with your arms down by your side and just come to Shavasana or find any relaxing pose, something that's restorative in nature. I think that's another great quality of the warrior and the warrior within you. But you take the time for yourself. You take care of yourself. That's truly important. A good sign of a warrior too. Again, moving into any pose that would help you complete your moving practice and then finding something restorative and nurturing. And stay here as long as you need. Stay exactly where you are. No need to move. Just bring your awareness back to your breath. Once again, return to the awareness of your breath. Experience the flow of your breath moving throughout your entire body. This deep, cleansing, loving breath. And then take five slow, deep breaths. Breathe as if you're breathing new life into your whole system your whole being. And as you're approaching your fifth breath, feel your body begin to move. As movement returns, slowly, very carefully, roll onto either side of your body. Just moving into this nurturing pose and just pause in this position, again reminding yourself that it's very good to take care of yourself. This nurturing, loving position. And from here, moving as slowly as you can, start to rise now to a seated posture. Once you're here, sitting up nice and tall, very proud, just let your arms rest in your lap for a moment, remembering the warrior within you. Let's embrace that warrior. Together we'll inhale, extend your arms out, reaching up high, maybe gaze upward, and exhale, follow your hands down to your heart. 
Once here, just take one more deep cleansing breath. And as we complete our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste.